This is Times Leader News Editor Roger Dupuy. I'm here with your PM update this Friday afternoon, but a few words of thanks first and a request for you. Uh, you'll see that we open today's video with a brief montage of clips from updates past, including the faces of some staff members who have moved on to other pursuits. We have been doing these updates for two and a half years now, since the dark days of the pandemic when we were still wearing masks here in the building, and those were some fun times. We do these updates to let you know um, about what we're working on every afternoon and to give you a look ahead to what's coming in the following day's editions of the paper. So, we thank those of you who've been watching, and we have a favor to ask. If you are a regular viewer of the PM Updates, give us a shout out in the comments. Um, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, that will let us know, you know where these videos have the most impact and also which stories interest you the most. Your feedback and your support are appreciated. Now on to the news. A local gymnastics coach was charged Thursday on allegations that he possessed and shared child sexual abuse materials. Ed Lewis has that, uh, has that story. Pennsylvania's unemployment rate declined two-tenths of a percentage point over the month to 4.2% in March. Bill O'Boyle, who's busy typing away over here, will explain. And a woman accused of setting two fires that took the life of her husband pleaded not guilty to criminal homicide and arson charges and related offenses during uh, an arraignment today. Ed Lewis also has that story. So remember, folks, give us a shout out in the comments. Let us know where you're watching and what you want to see. And remember, if you're not already a subscriber, call 570-829-5000 or visit timesleader.com slash subscribe. <laughs>